hasn't been there. You're sitting around a table in a meeting at a restaurant or even in your own home. It only takes a second for you to realize the person you thought was listening to you is texting under the table. My vlog today is called Really Powered by God. I'm Susan Diamond, publisher at Prayables.com, an online prayer community for women of all faiths. My daughter, the beacon of all things hip, told me about a new Microsoft Windows phone commercial. People are absorbed in the activities going on in their phone and then one by one disaster strikes. The man at the urinal drops his phone, you know where. The fancy lady leaves the opera and checking messages, she trips and falls down the staircase. The little league dad checking out his phone on the field gets beamed in the head by his kid. The message, it's time for a phone to save us from our phones. This is a clever commercial designed to sell phones wrapped up in the spirit of being in the present. Nothing we don't know already, yet an excellent reminder there's a time and place for everything. I was just saying to my cousin Dale the other day, I'm never bored anymore. We set a time to meet at the movies, and I knew no matter when she got there, I could entertain myself on my iPhone by reading the New York Times, playing Scrabble, or texting while I waited. Oh, what I would have given to have 4G in 1966 when I was 10 years old and complaining to my mom that I had nobody to play with and nothing to do. I'm convinced being constantly connected to the people we care about is a welcome advancement to the lives of so many. We're a global community now. My friend Tina is leaving for New Zealand and Australia next week to visit her daughter who's studying abroad. Has it been rough for her to have Michelle so far from home? Not really. She told me they talk and text all the time, no different from when she's in college closer to home. I might have actually gotten a college degree if it wasn't for Sunday nights when I was 18. I was miserable knowing that I was two and a half hours away from home when my family was all together eating Wesley's bro roasted chicken without me. No amount of square pizza slices from Garcia's could make me feel better. And now when my relationship with God is equally important to my happiness, I'm grateful that I have prayer on my phone. It's not that I can't pray without it, it's just that I always have the right words handy to inspire me in my worship. No loneliness, no boredom, none of that left out feeling I still remember so clearly. I guess that's why it's, I work so hard to bring prayer to people who need it. I understand the temptation my son-in-law caves into when he's checking out the football scores during a family meal. And I smile when my grandkids are excited with their new Leapster. I will not idolize the past with distorted memories of a simpler and better time. I embrace the now of an interconnected world aided by technology and powered by God. Those who are distracted by their electronic toys, I'll tell them, pay attention. And I'll pay attention too to the small, still voice within me, reminding me to offer prayers of gratitude for all that I have and all that I have to offer in this interconnected world. I am blessed to be a part of it. And now a prayer. Thank you for helping me to disconnect, if only for a short time. No television or computer, no social media or texting. Rather, fresh air and pungent smells, pointed sounds and colorful sights surprising tastes and varied textures, genuine, caring people. Thank you for replacing those sometimes wasted electronic moments with true connections, family and friends together, love and laughter, new memories I'll cherish forever. Most of all, help me to stay connected to you. Let me not be come so consumed by distract and distracted by gadgets and remote controls that I forget the source of my strength, my peace, my hope. Mm -hmm.